So I just want to make a, an apology video to Robin. Um, you're probably watching this video right now. Maybe watching it in Sweden. Maybe you're still watching it up in Cape Tribulation. Uh, just, dude, just wanted to say sorry, man. I didn't know it was going to end up like this. You know, I told you back in 2016. Remember that day we rode up the door together? I said, dude, I just broke up freely. I'm done. All yours, bro. Go for it. Go for it. And you, you guys have been chatting, and you know that's fine. Oh, and you're like, oh, I don't know, bro. Like, you know, not really see it that way. Just a friend, you know. I was like, I, I sell it to you. I was like, dude, like, you know, you, you're broke. You can go to Australia. She'll pay you away. She did. You know, she got the coin. I hope to make the multi millions of dollars. And you'll be like, eh. and I, I sold it to you. You know, I said, I sold it to you. I said, get a vasectomy. You're like, no, no, no. Remember that? You're like, no, man, I get no good vasectomy, man. No, 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 no. Um, I think Jesse was there as well, and uh, a few other people. And you were, you know, we, I, I was sell it to you. I was like a freaking. A Queensland, it was a Queensland ambassador, Australian ambassador to Sweden. Anyway, you did get the vasectomy, you did go to Australia, and that was great. But it probably hasn't worked out how you intended. All right. It looks like, I mean, when I saw you last year in August, when I came up with Natasha, and after Cape Trib, Cape Tribulation, when I saw you, bro, I was like, I was, I was sad, man. And you could tell I was sad. You know, you, you look broken. You know, and I understand why. I understand why, man. She probably hits you like she did me. You know, you've not allowed to have any voice. You've not allowed to be doing any social media. Really. You had to change your, your name pretty much. Snow pea, she calls you. She calls you a vegetable. She calls you a vegetable, bro. You know, and that's sort of what you have become emotionally. All right? Don't let it happen, man. All right? It looks like you haven't smiled for a long, long time. I mean, we used to have some laughs in Chiang Mai in 2014. You were class of 2014. You came to my first event in Thailand in 2014. Some people might say, hang on, it was Freely's event too. No, no, no. It was my event. Freely didn't even turn up. <laughs> Freely didn't even turn up to event in 2014. So, uh, a lot of people turned up hoping to meet Freely in 2014 and they were like, she's not here. So, she didn't want to come along. She, never, she doesn't like the crowd. She doesn't like the people. She doesn't like the fans. The fans are just this to her. You know, because a lot of fans are, just have eating disorders and stuff, and she's just like, I just want to make money. Give me the money, see you later. I don't really care too much. And here's what it is. I do care. I like to help people. And that's what I did with Freely. I, you know, took off the streets, made her into a mul ma earning multi-millions of dollars selling my Raw Tool 4 protocol, you know, which she bags. She bags it. Cooked foods are like rice is bunker food. Yet she makes millions of dollars, made millions of dollars in selling my protocols. She still sells it today. She still sells it. Cook food's bad, cook food's a lie, but buy the Raw Tool 4 program. It's great. <laughs> anyway, that's fine. Um, you know, she did a good job getting it out there, and I knew it'd be great because women just want to buy stuff off women when it comes to weight loss. That's okay. But, Robin, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm deeply, deeply sorry. Let me take this glass off. I'm deeply sorry, bro. You know? If she's hitting you, man, you know, I know there's nothing you can do about it. You can't exactly call the police, can you? you know, what, are you gonna, what are they going to do? They're going to take you away. <laughs> you know, so you've had to, you know, six years, man. Like, you, you would have been itching to make videos in Australia about Queensland and Cape Trib and Mount Sorrow and all the amazing things to film in Cape Tribulation, but you haven't been allowed to do that. She said that you can't, you know. You've seen the dangers, man. You've, you know that she calls me a rapist and a pedophile online. And you're like, damn, Harley made you multi-millionaire. And you call him a rapist and a pedophile in return. <laughs> he just improved your life. He, he rescued you from the streets. And you do that to him. I understand, Robin, why you live in fear of her. I would too. <laughs> I would too. Um, you know... Cause what, you can't speak out. You know the truth. And that would hurt you. Uh, you're a guy. You like to talk, man. You're a very social guy. But you haven't allowed to have any friends. You haven't been able to use social media like you used to be able to use it. You've had to have your comments turned off. She's controlled you. She's turned you into an emotional vegetable. She called you Snow Pea, bro. Snow Pea. You know what I mean? 
She doesn't even refer to you as Robin. She's like, my partner, Snow Pea. She refers to you as a garden vegetable. Six years, bro. You could have been cranking on social media. You know? And you, all you've been doing now is sweeping up cassowary shit and coconut fronts. You know? Come live with me. You can sweep up cat shit and plum leaves. But you have freedom. You'll be able to make content online. You know? I'll sponsor you. I'll buy you a ticket, bro. You know, when you, obviously when you won't be allowed in Australia for a bit, but I owe it to you, man. You looked up to me as maybe a father figure or at minimum an older brother, all right? Minimum. I know that. And that's why I wanted to help you out because you came to Thailand to see me, to get inspiration. That's why I sold the idea of get with Freely, go to Australia. I sold it to you, man. I manipulated you. I said, hey, if you don't do it, some other guy will. It may as well be you. And you'll be like, mm, yeah, yeah. I remember I said that. I said, Freely, I've not been single too long. Get in there quick, bro. Get in there. And you did. And probably at the start, it was fantastic. Traveling around, you had money, you had a full belly. Getting shit done, good. But then when you had to live in Australia, on the run, you know why she did that, don't you? You know why. Uh, you know why she did that. Oh, uh, anyway. Um, but yeah, I do deeply, deeply sorry to you, Robin. You know, I like to give the best advice out there. My advice at the time had good intentions, but I did fail you. And I do, I do, des uh, what's the word? I'm obliged to give you some sort of compensation. Financial, time, whatever you want, bro. Hit me up, all right? Hit me up. Freely's got my number. Or you, you can email me, duranize at gmail.com. Uh, if you feel like you, know, you deserve some sort of compensation from me, I can understand that. And I'm here to give it to you, here to offer it for you. Well, maybe it's financial. Maybe it's emotional. Maybe it's physical. I don't know. Let me know. Because you did put your life on hold you paused your life dreams. You wanted to become going climbing in the pole and the mountains and explore that. And you were going to do that. And I stopped you. I said, dude, go to Australia. Free will buy a ticket. She did. Go there. And you listened to my advice. And it fucking sucked, bro. It sucked. You know? I'm normally the best with life advice. But you took my advice. You were the only person who took my advice and has suffered massively because of it. And that makes me feel sad, all right? Everyone else is kicking ass. Look what happened to Maddie Limberder, all right? She came to my place in 2016. She got over seven million subscribers now. Multi-millions of dollars. Kicking ass, loving it. And I, she did what I said to do, plus other people, you know? But I know you know Maddie. Um, well, so, you know, I feel bad, man. I feel bad. I feel, you know, my life is, my life is amazing. And my life advice is the best out there. But Robin, I failed you. And I want to make it up to you. Let me know how I can do that.